So first of all, there's a listing analysis. Anyone can open an account in TRIPS. Actually, you're not opening an account in TRIPS. You're opening an account on the blockchain, and that belongs to you, and TRIPS cannot take it away from you. But that's another thing uh, for later on. Uh, but before you are published in TRIPS, you need approval of the community, so of the other hosts and the other guests who are going to be associated with your listing in TRIPS, right? So who does this approval? Well, the panel does this approval. The panel is uh, a group of five people, and they change all the time, taking decisions regarding various aspects of the platform in order to guarantee its quality. Uh, there's a whole chapter about the panel, and we're going to go through this a bit later. So the panel oversees the quality of every aspect of the platform, not only listing quality. It's just one of the jobs the panel does. The approval process includes an analysis of the new listing in TRIPS, an analysis of the same listing in other platforms. I was mentioning before, we have data we can look at. So if you go and see that this guy has 2.0, five reviews on Airbnb, well, that's a red flag. So we're going to consider that. Your online reputation has value wherever it is. We are going to establish some minimum standards. Uh, truthfulness of the statements. Again, if your place is 200 meters from the beach and you say it's 50 meters from the beach, well, that's, that's not good. Uh, completeness of information. That's usually a problem in, in many listings where there's a lot of information missing. Um, some people don't even put uh, data or, or information which you, you would expect them to, to put, right? So we're going to require people to do that. Um, quality of pictures, quality and quantity. Some people don't put the picture of the bathroom. Well, that's, that's a must, right? What happens if a listing is rejected? Well, the panel will try to help the host to improve. Um, we will tell them what, what went wrong. It's going to be a transparent process. It's not going to be uh, something behind the scenes. And the host who wants to improve his or her work uh, is going to be helped by the community itself. We are also thinking uh, about a way for local experience, experienced hosts to offer their services through the platform and say, okay, look, uh, I can help you with your listing. I can actually even help you with your apartment or house or villa, whatever. Uh, I can come to your place and you know spend a couple of hours with you and help you. And they will be paid by, in this case, the new host who needs help, right? We were even thinking to give a little bit of the commission generated by the new host, which has been trained by the old host, to the old host. So the old host has uh, an incentive to help the new host, which is a new competitor, by the way. So, And say, OK, I'm going to uh, share my knowledge, share my experience with new hosts. Uh, we're going to together keep high the level of, of the offering in our city. And I'm going to make money out of, of the help I've given. So, And everything is automatic because Trips gets 5%. And maybe we'll give 1% uh, for a year to the host, the old host who helped. Maybe that's an idea. Um, you are, again, you're welcome to come in and suggest better ways to uh, keep quality high, help each other, and uh, feel less as like competitors and more as partners in this game. So when the listing is approved, it goes online. We were also thinking to develop a marketplace where... You can uh, hire a photographer. You can uh, hire somebody who does 3D floor plans or other things. Okay, You can even, even do videos. Now, one of the reasons videos are not allowed in OTAs is because, in my opinion, it's hard to monitor, it's hard to censor. You could put your phone number or you could put some data, uh, contact data to let people skip the platform, and so losing the commission. Um, maybe it's because of bandwidth, I don't know. Uh, in our case, you'll be, you will be able to put a video on YouTube and embed it, so it's no bandwidth problem. Because Trips doesn't care if your host and you, if the host and the guest communicate outside of the platform, uh, they are taking a risk, okay? But 
they are adults. We treat anyone as an adult. And uh, once they are out of, out of the platform, well, that, that's their problem. Uh, it could come, we could come to the conclusion after a while that actually this is dangerous and we may overrule this decision again uh, collectively. Uh, but we start as open as we can. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe or share. You can comment in YouTube, LinkedIn or directly in the Google Docs white paper page. Thank you for watching.